Okay, let's talk about the ASVAB test. And if you're watching this video, I assume you are preparing to take the ASVAB test. What we're gonna be talking about in this video is ASVAB math, and of course, how this relates for, uh, to you getting that MOS uh, that you want. Now, for those of you that don't know what this is, that's your military occupational specialty. It is a code that you are basically assigned. It's your job specialty as you enlist in one of the military uh, services. Now, I know what I'm talking about here because I myself, has taken the ASVAB, but it was a long time ago, maybe like 36, 37 years ago. And uh, of course, so I know what it's like to take the ASVAB because I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. And then you get your scores and you can see what you're kind of qualified for, et cetera, et cetera. But those days, uh, you know, math has always been important. But uh, in today's military, with all the technology and everything else, it's probably even more important that you have excellent math skills because all these MOSs out there, um, you know, uh, rely on a lot of technology and the better off you're, uh, you are in mathematics, just the better you're going to be in anything, especially in the military. So um, anyways, uh, very quickly, uh, so I did uh, serve in the United States Marine Corps as an enlisted uh, person, and then later I uh, uh, became a military officer, a U.S. Navy officer, through uh, an NROTC scholarship, and of course I majored in mathematics, and math has always been a big part of my life. Now, uh, for several years I've been an educator, so I'm going to be talking to you uh, not only as a veteran, okay, somebody who has taken ASVAB, and as a former military officer who I used to have to have, you know, of course, troops underneath my uh, command, you know, again, you know, your skills to reason out and figure things out, uh, your critical thinking skills, you know, a lot of this, you know, is mathematical in some sense. So we're going to uh, talk about ASVAB math. I'm going to give you some general advice Okay, so you can work on getting that score than getting that MOS that you want. Okay, this is, you know, you're only going to be able to take the ASVAB once or twice, whatever the policies are uh, today. But once you get into your career field in the military, you know, you're kind of locked into that for at least a period of time. You can always transfer, but you want to do as well as you possibly can on the ASVAB. So we're going to get into all this in one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. Of course, I've done other things in my life, but I'm telling you right now, uh, if you think you are weak in math, you can be strong in math, right? But you're going to have to work hard at it. So that's the first thing. You're going to have to work harder, all right, to be um, better at mathematics. But the second thing you need is excellent, clear, and understandable math instruction. So that's where I can help you out. Um, of course, I do a lot of different things in mathematics, like uh, uh, offer homeschool courses, notes, etc. But I do offer test prep courses, and I actually have an ASVAB math prep course. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this video, so you can check that out. Super comprehensive. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get in and uh, start talking about the ASVAB, more specifically in terms of mathematics. All right, so. Uh, what do you learn in high school math? Okay, really the ASVAB is going to be, you know, testing you on uh, your analytical and mathematical skills along with other things as well. But, uh, you know, in high school, hopefully you learn some degree of algebra, okay, along with some degree of geometry, and hopefully you're pretty strong at basic math. We're talking like working with fractions, uh, let's say one third plus two fifths. Could you do something like that? Could you solve basic percent problems? Uh, can you uh, use formulas, etc.? These are important stuff. Okay, these are important math skills that you know. If you are a high school graduate, I don't. Again, I'm not quite sure what the policies are. I believe like the Marine Corps, you must. Uh, um, be a high school graduate, maybe some other services you can have a GED. But even today's GED, if you don't have a high school diploma, today's GED, you need to know a lot of algebra and geometry and certainly basic math just to even pass. So whether you're a high school graduate uh, or soon to be high school graduate or uh, you're going to be taking your GED, you should have pretty strong algebra and geometry skills and basic math skills. Now, I'm also living in a real world. And a lot of you probably maybe just pass these courses somewhat minimally. Uh, and you're like, yeah, well, I passed the course, but I really didn't learn anything. So, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's be honest about it. If that's your situation, look, you can do something about it okay, before you take the ASVAB. All right. Now, 
Here's the thing, on the ASVAB, they're gonna to wanna to see your problem solving ability, all right? And along with that, do you have common sense? Can you solve problems just by kind of figuring things out? You don't need to have, uh, you know, all you know, all this super, let's say more advanced mathematics to figure things out. So a lot of this is gonna kind of uh, just test your aptitude. So it's kind of falls in the category of common sense. But really, it's about your problem solving, your analytical ability, and of course, what level of mathematics you know. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're going to be um, uh, in some of these enlisted MOSs, I'll take the Navy, for example. You're going to be on a submarine, and you're going to be working in a, uh, the nuclear uh, power plant down over here. You're going to need to know like trigonometry and even some basic calculus as an enlisted person. All right? I don't think I'm misspeaking there. Uh, I just know that the nuke school for uh, Navy enlisted is like two years plus, very, very advanced. If you're going to be an electronic technician in the Air Force and work on, you know, uh, super advanced uh, jets, you know, the radar electronic, you need to know a lot of mathematics just to even know what's going going on with the formulas and everything else. So just because you're enlisted doesn't mean that you're not going to be subjected to a, a good amount of mathematics. As a matter of fact, um, when I was in the Navy, I was an engineering officer, surface warfare officer, but I also uh, ran engineering plants. And the, uh, the people that worked for me, they had to do a lot of, uh, you know, calculations. Uh, and then my second tour was an actual navigator of a ship. And again, doing a lot of uh, uh, calculations and whatnot. So math is in the military. In today's modern day military, you're going to have to be uh, doing a lot with mathematics. So anyways, the bottom line is this, before you take the ASVAB, you just don't want to get yourself a study guide. All right. You'll be like, Oh, I could just get a study guide and I can study up and I can just improve in mathematics. That's not really the way it's, um, it's going to work. Okay. If you missed out and you really didn't understand these courses, what you want to do is start working on building up your math skills. Okay. And the way you do that is to start, you know, give yourself enough time before you take the ASVAB and start to relearn uh, math skills, algebraic math skills, how to solve basic equations and inequalities. Um, you know, uh, learn about a little bit more about statistics, how to calculate the average, you know, with geometry, know about uh, area, volume, surface area, how to apply various formulas, basic math, be strong at fractions, percent. These are the skills you need. And then you need to do a lot of different prompts. Here's the learning aspect of it. But the only way you're going to develop strong math skills so you can apply those math skills to solve problems is through a lot of practice, okay? And then as you build your skills up and you're practicing uh, a lot of problems, okay? And now these problems here could be like, kind of like homework problems that you would be doing in school. But uh, this is also like practice ASVAB tests. You know, really you gotta be doing a lot of practice, okay? But you can't just pr be practicing if you don't, you're not working on developing your skills. So, you know, give yourself enough time to review and a study guide, like a set of notes, is, isn't going to be enough. Okay, just think about this right here in high school. You're going to get a year or two of algebra. This is like a full year course. This is multiple years, you know, of um, your education from middle school and elementary school. So a quick study guide, mm, that might work for some of you out there that were pretty strong math students, but most of you, uh, should go through and uh, give yourself enough time to review uh, mathematics, good you know, high school level mathematics, and then get yourself some ASVAB study guide. Ask your recruiter. I'm sure they have um, uh, some guidebooks and maybe some additional recommendations. But here's the thing, okay? If you invest in yourself, right, you're, this is a win-win situation because, one, you're going to really significantly increase your chances of doing very well on the ASVAB, at least in the analytical uh, sections, mathematics uh, sections, but this is going to carry through uh, to your, uh, through your enlisted career, whatever MOS you get into. And I'll tell you right now, you just don't even know where your military career can take you because you're taking the ASVAB exam. Okay, let's take uh, the ASVAB. You're going to uh, get uh, enlist. Okay, you're going to get yourself some MOS training, and then. When you're in the actually, uh, the, when you're uh, an active duty military soldier, marine, sailor, what, well, what have you, airman, 
you know, when you're in actually in the military, you're going to see other opportunities. A uh, good many of you, okay, are eventually going to go get a degree. Okay, you may get that degree um, on active duty, or you might use your GI Bill afterwards, of which you're going to be going to college, and you're going to have to uh, know advanced math. You're going to have to know a lot of math, as we just kind of covered. So for the majority of you that are going into the military, you have probably aspirations later down the line. You may not even realize it. Uh, some of you may become military officers, uh, which means you're going to have to go back to school. So here's the deal. Math, if you're going into the military, math is going to be in your future. So the better you know it now before you take the ASVAB, you know, that's just the smart way. You're investing in yourself and you're investing in your long-term military career. But again, the higher the ASVAB score you can get, the more it's going to open up uh, opportunities in terms of your MOS. As you know, you're going to need uh, various ASVAB scores to qualify for certain um, you know, job specialties. Okay. So the ASVAB hugely important, um, as you start off, uh, your military career, but, uh, you know, I want to say this, um, in ending, yeah, I wish you nothing but all the best, not only on the ASVAB, but, uh, you know, um, for you in the military. Okay. It's so important that we have, uh, you know, outstanding, uh, men and women serving in our U.S. military, you know, as a veteran, you know, and I served overseas uh, in the Persian Gulf and did a lot of different operations. I'll tell you, it really is, um, you know, probably some, definitely some of the um, highlights of my life. Okay, just working with the quality of people. I'm just telling you right now, the military is an outstanding career choice. So anyways, get that MOS that you want. Don't sell yourself short. Uh, because you think that you're not going to be strong enough in math. And if you need assistance with mathematics, check out my ASVAB, uh, my ASVAB math prep course in the description of this video. You'll see a link to it. Super, super comprehensive. But anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the, uh, all the best on the ASVAB and in your military career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.